asked us to write a referral letter to the charge nurse of rehabilitation ward at Camden Hospital requesting a bed for Mr. Warren Cash, who is admitted in Campbell Town Hospital and was diagnosed with chronic inflammatory delineating polyneuritis affecting the leg, left leg after his discharge. Let us look into the case note first. The name and age of the patient are important and should be mentioned in the reference part of the letter. The diagnosis is important and should be mentioned in the letter. You should mention about CIPD, diabetes, hypertension and hyperlipidemia but, but more important should be given to CIPD. Coming to the social and medical background, almost all the information provided here are important but by, while framing the letter, you should take special care in picking out only the relevant points and framing it in an organized manner. This part is the most important one in the case note along with the discharge plan. Therefore, you should give more importance to these parts of the case note and should be emphasized while framing the letter. The nursing management and progress part is important too, but the former parts carry more weightage than the later one. Taking all these points, we have to prepare a letter in an organized manner. Now let us see how we can write a letter with the help of a sample letter written by a candidate from South Africa. The date written is correct but the format used is wrong. It should be 22nd February, 2020. The address and salutation written are correct. Moving to the reference, you don't have to write the word age. Instead, you can simply say 55 years. So we can write RE call and Mr. Warren Cash, 55 years. This is the correct way to write a reference. Moving to the introduction paragraph, I am writing to refer Mr. Cash, who is admitted to our Campbelltown Hospital and he is being managed for a couple of ailments. He is waiting for a rehab bed at your hospital, which is okay, but this would have been much better if you have written it like, I am writing to request a rehabilitation bed for Mr. Warren Cash who is currently under treatment for multiple ailments in Campbelltown Hospital and he will be ready for discharge on 31st August 2012. Moving to the second paragraph, Mr. Cash was di diagnosed with chronic inflammatory demilinating polyneuritis which caused severe pain, weakness and numbness on his left leg. He has, two, he has type 2 diabetes, hypertension and hyperlipidemia. Here it says all about his physical condition which is perfect. Moving to the third paragraph. At present his hypertension is stable although he occasionally relapses. He has poor compliance with his diabetic diet and has received health education. He is taking metformin to control his diabetes. His blood sugar is being monitored four times daily. He has daily physiotherapy and is now able to walk and climb stairs. Here it doesn't mention the name of the patient. The first sentence written here is wrong. Here it says he occasionally relapses, which is grammatically wrong and instead you should write he has occasional relapse. The second sentence is again wrong and should be formatted as he is taking metformin to control his diabetes but has poor compliance with his diabetic diet. So he was educated about pre-diabetes, which is much impressive. The last two sentences written here are simple sentences and we can't see any compound or complex sentences in this paragraph. So try to use more compound and complex sentences as it attracts more marks. Therefore, we can rewrite this paragraph in a much more impressive manner like At present, Mr. Warren Cass hypertension is stable but he occasionally relapses. He is taking metformin to control his diabetes but has poor compliance with his diabetic diet. So, he was educated about pre-diabetes and under observation for blood sugar four times daily. He is receiving daily physiotherapy and as a result, he is now able to walk and climb stairs. Moving to the fourth paragraph, Mr. Cash is on IV immunoglobulin but you, can't, you can switch to oral prednisone daily. He is also taking gabapentone, oxycotin and vitamin B complex which is alright. Moving to the last paragraph, please ensure that Mr. Cash takes Immuran 150mg daily which will commence two weeks after he has been discharged. Kindly teach him how to measure and chart his blood sugar levels. I would be pleased if you can arrange monthly IV if he remains in Australia since his family is in Thailand. 
Here, in the first sentence, the candidate has used, he has been discharged, where in fact the patient is still not discharged, so you have to use the proper tense here. After the correction, the first sentence reads, Please ensure that Mr. Cash takes Immurin 150 mg daily, which will come in two weeks after his discharge. Another thing is that there, here the candidate has used one sentence to describe his local background, which won't be enough to have proper idea about the patient. The case note says this patient has no one to accommodate him after discharge is one of the reasons why he is planning to go back to Thailand. Therefore, you have to mention his social background in a separate paragraph so it would give enough information to the reader. Coming to the winded sentence, you have to mention the name of the patient along with the sentence. Then it becomes, if you have any queries regarding Mr. Cash, do not hesitate to contact me. The sign of written is correct. Apart from the mistakes mentioned, the candidate has made a very good attempt. Considering this fact, the letter qualifies for a score of 280. Thank you. New method for OET learning. How are you preparing? Online or offline? For speaking and writing, you can get tutor reviews. How will you be able to manage your reading and listening? How can you manage your self-practice easier than never before? Learn OET in Merlin's way. Most successful OET learning method from world's best online trainer. Chat now. MentorMerlinExam.com